Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. John Jaggi and thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel. If you haven't, remember to subscribe, like and share. In our today's episode, we are bringing to you a young doctor who has taken most of us by surprise with her strength in numbers. As most of us have to work really hard to get good in numbers, for some, it just comes easily. Let's get to know who this young doctor is. On set, I want to welcome our today's guest and man, I got to let her introduce herself because I might mess this up. So could you tell our viewers who are you? Um, thanks for having me. I'm Winningumi and I'm a doctor by profession. Yeah. Interesting. So, um, well, once again, thank you for um, accepting our invitation and it just kind of gives me goosebumps to have you today. and that, the fun thing and the most interesting part is that you know i've been working with you for god knows about you know more than seven weeks and you know you've been in the hospital a little bit longer than that mm -hmm. and what i came to learn about you is something that i could have never imagined mm -hmm. and just so that our viewers can really understand what i'm talking about uh so let's do this for them okay let me know when you're ready yeah, i'm ready ready mm -hmm. okay and you guys she does not know the numbers that I'm just about to ask. And this is just randomly from my head. Um, let's see how this goes. Okay, 238 multiplied by 57. Um, that will be 13,566. Okay, That's right. all right, <laughs> all right, all right. Impressive. Yeah. And I hope you guys have the calculators and you know, um, getting these numbers straight. You guys, let's try another one here. Mm -hmm. I will go by 854 mm -hmm. multiplied by 32. 854 multiplied by 32. By 32. That will be 27,328. Let me ask you this. <laughs> um, when, mm -hmm. when you do this, what is going on through your brain? I mean, do you really feel your brain processing this or is it just something that, you know, it's just automatically? It's not really automatic. Yes. I kind of process it but now very fast. So the process of, because mm -hmm. I mean, if I had to think about it, mm -hmm. um, and please don't ask me no multiplication <laughs> here because I'm not ready for that. Okay. Uh, I cannot really tell my brain is processing, but you know, just numbers. Mm -hmm. How is it for you? Well, it's really just fast. Plus I have this, there's just something about numbers that okay. intrigues me. So numbers are really what I see. Okay. So everything is really um, easy. Me. You see me in numbers? Kind of, yeah. Oh, kind of. Oh, my goodness. So what number am I? I choose a seven. A seven? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, a seven, I, I've been told a seven is a complete number. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so, can we do a division? Yes. You oh. can try any number. Uh -huh. We'll try a very big number that okay. you can think of okay. by a one digit first. By a one see. digit, then mm -hmm. we can do a two digit. Yeah. Um, if we take uh, 1,240, 1240. 1240 mm -hmm. divided by 7. Uh, that will be 177.1428571. Say that again. 177.1428571. Okay. And I really, you know, you guys, I don't have a calculator. Mm -hmm. I just hope you're checking this out and I hope, you know, this is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's do a, let's try a division here. Mm -hmm. What of 3450 divided by 27? Um, that will be, hey, 11 feet. Just a minute. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm okay. getting it. Mm -hmm. I mean, as long as you're not punching it on a calculator, yeah. I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. 127.7777. You yeah. guys are checking this? That, that's right? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. this is the most interesting part. Mm -hmm. It's not only multiplication, division i think it just got something to do with numbers mm -hmm. and this is something that i really learned about her and um you say that you see me as a number uh and and i think also you're able to really tell the letters in a sentence 
Yeah, that's that's right. So I can do a sentence and then not the not the words but no. the letters. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I'll just try one simple one. Is yesterday I had a cup of coffee. Twenty-five letters. Twenty-five letters. Yes. Yeah. I hope you guys are counting this and, you know, um, maybe one medical one because uh, I think the terminology, in, you know, in medicine are a little bit uh, different. Um, um, let's say, take this patient to theater for a hysterectomy. Mm. Hysterectomy is the removal of the uterus. 39. 39. Yeah, let's confirm that. Okay. So, we need Ngumi. Mm. Um, I should say this is impressive. Um, I can hardly do 12 times 13. Um, so when did you get to learn about, you know, uh, this ability to, you know, uh, power in numbers? Well, I think I had this from a very long time, okay. uh, for a very long time. But really, I wasn't that outgoing, uh, uh, that outgoing kid. So people really didn't know about this until I got to campus and I got more going. Then people really knew about this skill that I had. But it was really from a long time ago. Okay. So this in is in like school. primary school or yes. something? Yes, yes. So did you, did you, would, did, would you say that in primary school mathematics was something that you did not struggle? I did not struggle with mathematics. You did maths. not struggle in yeah. mathematics. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think I saw, you know, from your previous interview, mm -hmm. you, you know, your sister saying, you know, how you you know she'll be called you know you'll be called in you know she's in class eight or whatever mm -hmm. and you'll be in rural primary school she was struggling with mathematics yeah. but you know you just come and just get it how did that make That's you true. feel well really nice really? yeah that i was in class two and she was in class eight and i would go to class okay, eight wait a minute. teach all this you're in class two yes and she was in class eight yeah and you'd actually be called to class eight yes to do, to do the that multiplication sure. yes mm -hmm. Man, yeah. now how did it how did it translate when you went back home? Well, no, was she, she nice to you? Was, you, <laughs> was she going? Look at you! You're just making me look all yeah, bad, no, trying no. to be the smart kid here. No, and, you no, know no. how she how was, was it at home? Mm, she was always proud of me. Okay. She really didn't have that, you know. So she was always proud, and she pushed me to be the best I could be. Yeah. Since yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and again, this is really nothing to to do with with family, mm -hmm. but um, there's a notion that we. You know, we have that, you know, certain trait runs in the family. Mm -hmm. uh, is this something that kind of, you know, runs the family? Well, I mean. Well, not really. Not really. We are eight. We are eight of us. Okay. But nobody else has this. This is just something skills. specific for <laughs> yeah. Winnie Ngumi. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Now, and I think this, what, you know, most of our viewers will be, you know, um, quite interested in you know uh, knowing uh, I, I've really worked with you and I think now it's kind of making sense it's just putting things together there was really something special about you uh, even when you know you're just doing a presentation for a patient you know this and I'll call it lost in deep thoughts mm -hmm. you just kind of you know you know ask a question or you're trying to remember uh, patient presentation how do you process this when you're processing this information mm -hmm. like the patient came with you know the following uh, issues and we manage them with this do you remember that in terms you know numbers or you're just trying to recall <laughs> no then i'm just trying to recall you're just it's trying not to really recall. numbers yes yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. okay and i think this will be uh, uh, a bit of a stupid question why medicine? Well, after my KCSC, I performed very well. So I was actually the best in my district. I think we had districts those days. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, I got a job at 16 with Equity Bank. So I was working with Equity Bank at 16. So 16, <laughs> yeah. this was right after high school? Yes. So you got a job mm -hmm. with Equity. Mm -hmm. And your what was your job was, description at um, Equity? I was a teller, so really about counting money, serving yeah. customers. Yes. After some uh, after some time, because of this skill, I was really fast. Yes. You know, I don't really have to use the calculators to know how many pengapi yes. bundles in a hundreds or what. Yes. So 
I was moved to the corporate uh, section. So I started serving in corporate at 16. At 16? Yes. So, and this is equity. Equity took you and, you know, within no time, mm -hmm. you've actually raised the ranks and now you are the corporate. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yeah, so now we were at... Um, <laughs> medicine uh -huh. so after that I got a letter from the University of Nairobi yes. to pursue um, a degree in medicine and surgery medicine. so I really couldn't you know it's prestigious it looks good okay. but this is not really what I wanted to do from the beginning so medicine has not been what you really exactly <laughs> wanted really. and, and really. I think um, mm. this is very important coming mm. from you mm -hmm. because there's the notion with the society that and and, and um, I, I I get it, mm -hmm. is whereby for you to be, you know, somebody in the society, you either have to go to medical school, become a doctor, or you have to, you know, um, do a course in engineering, mm -hmm. then you feel like you're in this prestigious career, yep. which I think it's, it, it's, it's different. Uh, it got to be something that you love and something you're really good at it. What would be your take on that? No, but really, once I got uh, into medical school, first year, I knew this is really what I wanted to do. Yes. I wouldn't look back. I would really go on with this. So, you see. Now you're settled? Yeah, I'm settled. Okay. Because there yeah. are a lot of people out there all asking, mm -hmm. what exactly are you doing in medicine? Mm -hmm. You should be doing something like um, IT mm -hmm. or into banking or just something to do with numbers. We, in medicine, we don't really apply numbers if at all there's any application of numbers. Mm -hmm. Would you ever consider something that, you yeah. know, in numbers? I would. What would that I would. be? Probably uh, for my master's, I'd go into research or statistics and all those things in the medical field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, maybe you, there's a movie called Rain Man. Have you seen the movie called Rain Man? People have been recommending, but yeah. I have never really watched How it. How come you've not? I know. You should watch I will. Rain Man. I will. Uh, just to tell you a little mm -hmm. bit about Rain Man, mm -hmm. was this, you know, guy who had really, you know, um, uh, good in numbers and uh, he would really count mm. uh, the cards in a casino mm. and, and and I know uh, some of who some of us who are, you know have watched Rain Man uh, you know would kind of relate that is a really extraordinary gift that you know you have mm. um, so how do you would you say that you know your skill and what you're actually doing today, um, does it really help in terms of, you know, being good in numbers and your day-to-day -day life? Yeah, does it does. It, it does help, yes. Because uh, for me to do what I do, I really have to have that kind of, the concentration I need. Yes. So it helps me with what I'm doing yes. currently. So I think really, you know, idea. In a idea, Mahadi. just works mm -hmm. out together. Yeah. Uh, so again, guys, um, impressive. Uh, but then again, as Dr. Weenie puts it here, uh, sometimes it just, you know, I think identifying what you're really good at and pursuing what you're good at, I think it just kind of makes all sense. But along the way, along the way, you might find something that you develop interest in, something you're really good at. And, and I think that's exactly, you know, what you're, you know, you're putting across is, you know, you found something that now you've really settled, even mm -hmm. if this was not um, um, your maybe initial uh, interest. Yeah. Would you ever think about becoming a gynecologist? Well, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you're talking to a gynecologist. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I've really liked the rotation so far. Yes. So actually, it's one of the best rotations so far for me. So maybe I'd consider. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Impressive. Mm -hmm. One thousand two hundred and that is twenty divided by nine. One thousand two hundred and that is seven by nine. It's a power one thirty seven point two two two. I think this is just getting interesting here mm -hmm. and um, we gotta try to do something else with numbers. So I'll have someone give me a calculator. Um, so this one I need to have a calculator here. All right, and whenever you're ready, I think I have my calculator ready. So, what do I do with it? So, I want you to choose a number. I choose a number. Mm -hmm. Do I gotta tell you the number? Yeah. Okay, I will do fifty-eight. Mhm. Mm so, 
Okay, okay, uh, let's take 58. Yes. And then I can give you the multiples of 58 going all the way up to wherever you want me to go. Okay. So like times one is 58, times two is this, times three, times four, times five. We okay, go higher. So you can and keep multiplying 58. Yeah, but I don't know how you'll do it in your calculator and you're only squatching your mouth. Aha. How fast how fast can you do this? Let's let's see. Okay, so let's find out. I will just, I mean, you keep going, yeah. maybe I'll do a nine and, you know, just confirm that as you come up. Okay. 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 So 58. Okay, get started. So times one, 58, times two, 116, times three, 174, times four, 232, times five, 290, times six, 348, times seven, 406, uh, times eight, 464, times nine, 522, times 10, 580, times 11, 638, <laughs> times 12 is 696, times 13 will be 754, times 14 will be 812, times 15 will be 870. Yeah, where are we? Yeah. <laughs> okay, keep going until I tell you to stop because okay. I think, yeah. Times 16 will be at uh, 928, times 17 will be at 986, times 18 will be at 1044, times, where am I? Times 19. Yes. Uh, times 19 will be 11, uh, 10, sorry, 1102. Uh -huh. 1102 times 20. Yes. Times 20 will be 1160, times 21 will be 1218, times 22 will be 1276. <laughs> yeah. no. How do you do this? I know. How do you do this? It's really just like loving the numbers. So, you know, you get any number and you can tell do you you ever know, anything get, about do it. Do you ever get to kind of, you know, just say, okay, fine, today I'm going to spend three hours and just kind of, you know, just stretch my brain with numbers. Do you ever do that? Sometimes, yeah. So sometimes you do yeah, that. Yeah. You have some time and, you know, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what else do you do other than being a doctor and, mm -hmm. you know, playing around with numbers? Well, I like to have fun, so obviously hanging out with friends. Mm, I like reading, so I can have my book okay. uh, sometimes. Yeah, really that's what I do. Okay. Mm. So, Dr. Ari, mm -hmm. you have um, a young, young lady out there mm -hmm. who's watching you right now and who inspires to be like Dr. Winning Gumi. Mm -hmm. Uh, would you look into the camera and what would you tell them? Well, for that, uh, for any little girl out there that has dreams, uh, that knows what she wants, I think once you put your mind into something and you work towards it, there will always be some reward. So keep on keeping on. Uh, like for me, I always knew what I wanted. So when I went, uh, when I went to school, I knew it's about my books. It's about getting that grade that I wanted. And actually, I really wanted to work with equity ever since. So I worked towards that also and so anything is possible once you put your mind into it and once you put in some work also. yeah mm -hmm. so again there's mm -hmm. something about talent but talent without hard work mm -hmm. does not really yield any growth or uh, being somebody valuable in the community so once again thank you so much Dr. Ari, for sparing some time to mm -hmm. talk to us and uh, we have been really inspired oh my god I still cannot believe uh, that you know I've been having you um, uh, in my department and could not tell this talent that you mm -hmm. owe. Um, so once again, thank you so much and we wish you good luck and thank I you. hope that uh, you're going to find something that really gives you the thrill and the happiness. Yeah. And to our viewers, we always want to thank you for remaining and staying tuned with us. And until next time, as we always say, stay healthy and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Until next time, take care.